The old Park Lane Hospital will soon open its doors again to help new patients, but instead of physical healing, financial recovery is what's going to be happening there. Only on 41 Action News, invited inside the newly finished River of Refuge, and that's where Brian Abel is this morning. Brian. Hey, good morning, Lindsay. Now, River of Refuge, they're focusing on families that are living in these pay-by-the-week motels around the metro. So just imagine a family of four, five, six, maybe even seven living in a space the size of this living room here and then coming here to the old Park Lane Hospital that's now River of Refuge and having all of this space in a four-bedroom complete with your own kitchen as well as bedrooms and now all of the this stuff will be available to them for free they won't have to pay for the room or the food here or the financial planner that's going to help them get back on their feet this was 2009 when river of refuge founder john wiley first took over the dilapidated park lane hospital this would could potentially be one of the floors that they live on we have three floors exactly like this and this the residence quarters is that vision alive and just days away from reality nearly seven years later here we are 11 units and almost finished so we've got several units that are furnished these rehabbed patient rooms will soon be home to five families and their financial rehabilitation will begin these are everyday ordinary families folks that uh, have fallen on difficult times. Families like the Messinas, we caught up with the family of seven in 2013, all sharing a one-room motel. It was a heartbreaking situation, working paycheck to paycheck to pay $200 a week for the room and feed five kids using nothing more than a microwave. I know there's so many different situations that put people in this place. There's hundreds of families that fit this description in the metro area. Every school district has families in this situation enrolled in their schools. After the first five families save enough from their free stay and guidance here to get their own apartment, another group will move in. If they're willing to work and, and be accountable, we can help them. Now, this project from construction to the furniture was all done because of donations. And you may have noticed that five families versus 11 room or 11 unit discrepancy. Now, that's because River of Refuge, they've run out of cash. They need $62,000 to get the rest of those six rooms furnished. So to find out how to help with that, make sure you head to our website, KSHB.com. We'll have the story up shortly. And you can also learn about a volunteering op opportunity here on Saturday. For now, reporting live in Kansas City, Missouri at River of Refuge, Brian Abel, 41 Action News Today.